Breaking news from batshit bonkers Britain, where Marks and Spencers, having tried to make a Christmas ad entirely pandering to the woke mob, which was basically burn the Christian tradition. Who needs a star when you can have a toilet roll angel? Why not rip up those Christmas cards, despite pandering to the woke karate, who probably don't spend a single pound in any of their stores, they've still managed to piss them off because they were burning paper crowns in the colour of the Palestinian flags. And it appears that Mark Spencer is now burning the Palestinian flags, which just goes to prove you can put Hannah Waddingham all over your ads and you can try and pander to the mob, but you will never please them because if you look to be offended, you can always be offended at something. And then we have the rubber dinghy rapids bra jihadis going around the UK, throwing mice into McDonald's. McDonald's after spray painting them in the colours of the Palestinian flag. No one really knows what this is going to achieve, but it has caused a bit of a conundrum for the animal rights lot. Because obviously, if you're a leftist and you have to believe in animal rights, you also are pro Palestine and you have to be anti Israel. But you can't say anything about them spray painting mice because you're also pro Palestine. So you don't really know what to do about the whole thing. What I do know is that if I spray painted an animal, let's say in the colours of the Union Jack and threw it into a restaurant, I'd be arrested within about mm, 0.2 seconds, I suspect. And then finally, we're being blown about and battered to death by Storm Kieran. And many people will try and say that it's about climate change. What I think it actually is, is just the weather that we always used to have and will still continue to have. But you know, that's just me. And that's your latest from Batchit Bonkers Britain.